Hi, welcome to your mentor YouTube channel. To get the government job, PhD admissions, work from home job, PGD, TGT and assistant professor job notifications, subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon. Share, like and comment my videos. And now while coming to the present content of the video, so actually on 21st evening, the National Testing Agency released the provisional answer key in its official website. And of course, they are given the three days of time uh, to challenge the provisional answer key. And of course, by this time, the lot of UGS not appeared candidates already verified their response sheet with respect to the provisional answer key and they got a few score also out of the 300 marks. Okay, so based upon that score, I got uh, so many comments that uh, with this score under the so and so category, whether whether we qualify for the JRF or else for the assistant uh, professor. So based upon all these comments, so actually today morning I did one video regarding the expected uh, cutoff. So that video link also I will keep in the description box of this video. So based upon all these different uh, comments here, uh, I created one Google form guys and the link also I will share with you in the description box of this video. So this Google form is clearly for the survey. So you just open that, I mean click on that link and then you will be directed to that uh, Google form guys. So it is a Google form. So actually if you click on that one, then you need to sign up. Okay, so you need to sign up with your uh, Gmail ID. And once if you sign up and then you will be directed to this Google form. So it is having simply four questions on there. So first one is what is your subject? Second one is out of the 300 marks, how many marks you got? and what is the percentage okay and next one what is your cast category so actually i kept only the four categories i kept guys so if you once fill up all these four categories okay then submit the response okay so once after submitting your uh, response then i will get all the data so like that whoever fill this form i will get the complete data so we'll take four to five days of time so that the maximum responses we will get and then based upon the subject wise, so how many people got the maximum mark? So based upon that one, we can able to get one idea regarding the cutoff of the each and every individual uh, subject before releasing the final uh, answer key or the final result. Got it? And uh, the most important thing is that be honest in uh, entering the marks guys. <laughs> okay. So whatever the marks you got as per the provisional answer key. So be honest in typing uh, the marks or the percentage here and uh, don't uh, do the spelling mistakes while typing your uh, subject here okay why because uh, whenever you are i mean you, if you do some typing mistake uh, i mean in 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 the mentioning of the subject then in the excel sheet i will be having difficult okay to take your response into consideration so please be careful without having any spelling mistakes in the subject and be honest while filling up of the marks okay as well as the cast category. So we will take some uh, five, four to five or also six days of time. So after the six days, then whatever the responses I got, okay, based upon the responses, each and every subject. So what is the maximum uh, marks the student got? So based upon that one, we can able to get one uh, rough idea regarding the cutoff before releasing the final answer key. Got it? So I'm requesting you to please share this video to as max as possible to your friends or else to your colleagues who wrote the UGSNET merge cycle examination and in your social media, so that means whatever the accounts you are having. So please uh, share this video uh, to your personal, I mean, as max as possible, try to publicize this one so that we will get the maximum responses. So if you got the maximum responses, then there will be a chances to get the nearer to the perfect uh, cutoff of the individual subjects. Okay. So thank you very much guys. So please start sharing this video and start filling up of uh, this form. Okay. And we will meet uh, after uh, five to six days. Okay. With all the individual subjects, uh, cutoffs based upon your responses. Thank you very much. Jai Hind. And while coming to the official website of the Anacademy. So all of you know that uh, Anacademy is uh, India's largest uh, learning uh, platform. So it is not only providing the paid courses guys, it is providing the free online classes also. And you will get the free online classes on the two platforms. One is on Anacademy YouTube channel and one is on Anacademy app itself in the name of uh, special classes. So here, uh, what I mean, NTA is conducting the UG Senate examination for a total 81 uh, subjects, right? So out of the 81 subjects, Anacademy is providing the online uh, courses or else the uh, paid courses. Okay, that is nothing but uh, complete coaching 
uh, for the subjects that you may explore what are the different subjects an academy is uh, providing this UG Senate uh, examination purpose and coming to the list of the subjects so general paper on teaching is common that means teaching aptitude that is paper one is common that you will get in English language as well as the Hindi language and coming to the remaining the paper two subjects are uh, commerce management computer science and application political science history economic sociology labor welfare and uh, English and education and geography, law, Hindi, psychology, public administration, electronic science, home science, environmental sciences, philosophy, mass communication and journalism, tourism administration, management, Sanskrit, Punjabi, okay, and anthropology. Interested candidates may take the subscription plan. So here you may check down. So whatever the subscription plan you want to take, you may use my referral code that is ASWINIK to get 10% discount.